Hey, uh, I have a Yale travel lock here. It's a four wheel combination lock and it's a TSA lock as well. There's the key. The key will open open this for the airport officials if they have to get into your luggage without destroying your lock. And what you do is you put in the right combination and the lever will open up. But what I found is that there's play on this lever. And sometimes someone can come along and just pop these out and get into your bag. And it's as simple as that. I've checked other ones of these locks and they all have this play. And so if as long as you're securing something that's thicker than this, you should be okay for this vulnerability. But a lot of these uh, zips can slide out through that. Let's say you use this lock on a locker or it's on one of your bags that's unattended and someone had a little bit of time. How might they get into this lock? One way is they could get a bobby pin, pop the ends off, open it out so that when you close it it tries to open up with some force. It's got some spring tension. We will pop it in here and see if we can turn it to open this lock. There you go, it's starting to started to turn. And see how it's completely open now. Another way into this lock, I cut off a thin bit of aluminium from a soda can or pop can, fizzy drink can, and what I'm going to do is I've just put a little bit of marks on this so I can see how deep it goes. So do you see how it drops in at 9? At 8 it's higher, but 9 it goes down a little bit, it goes right down here. If I turn it to 8 or another number, it doesn't go down as far. And so I'm going to do this for each wheel, I'm going to find the gap where it drops down the most for each wheel. I've moved all these wheels so that I can find the biggest gap where it drops down the most. Drops down there, drops down there, drops down there, and drops down there. But be careful because, for example, instead of five, there's another bump on the other side. It drops down, you can feel the gap, but it doesn't drop down as far. See how it's just the beginning of that bottom white mark? But at five, it drops down more. So I've got all the wheels where it drops down the most. This isn't the combination yet. I have to turn each one the same amount of times round to the other side. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. 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 And now the lock should open. And it does. So then the final way to get into this lock, this has been reset a combination that I don't know. I'm going to decode it by tensioning the shackle by pushing it. It's quite a bit of tension. So I'm going to try and open it and I see the wheels uh, turn freely except for the last one is hard to turn, it's binding. So what I'm going to do, this is hard to do on camera, I'm going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4,
10, 10, 10. Now, it seems to stick on five, but the other wheel is still turned freely, so I know that's not the right number. I'm going to release tension and then turn past it, past it, tension again. Does it seem to want to stop at 8? These wheels still turn freely. I know that's not the right number. So I'm going to go past 8. Okay, so it seems to want to stop at 3. And 3's got lots of play. It goes from 2 to four so that should be the true gate because it's got lots of play it doesn't want to come out of that gate as when I'm tensioning it but it's got lots of play huge amount of play so I think three is correct and if I turn some other numbers they should be tight now yes they are okay so okay I just just by turning the shackle went in a little bit it must be this one because this again this has got lots of play it goes from like one to nine so i think zeros are the correct number there and yeah, it's so i'll turn this is tight this can't be correct so i'll go past this one it doesn't have lots of play at all um Ah, and the lock's open. Okay. Thanks.